Hey humans, welcome back to otro video más. Today we are going to be unboxing the Seven Artisans 50mm F0.95, which is technically an F1.4. This is for APS-C, this is for the Fuji X mount. So yeah, let's see what comes inside. All right, guys, so straight from China, we got the Seven Artisans 50 millimeter F.95. F.95, here we have it. Let me show you here all the sides. Seven Artisans. Yeah, I really can't wait to try this lens out. So yeah, let's open it. These are the instructions. Um, I'm not sure how much instructing I need, um, but it's very detailed. It tells you what everything means, just in case you don't understand. All right, guys, for this lens, we have a 50 millimeter, which is a 75 millimeter equivalent in full frame. This lens is specifically for APS-C, more specifically for the Fuji cameras. It's made out of metal, which is great. It'll make it a little bit heavier, but ah, quality, man. We want quality. And this, as far as built, definitely brings it. Now with the metal build comes some weight and the weight is 416 grams, which is a little hefty, but it's okay. I'll manage. The X-T30 is, is so tiny and so lightweight that I think I'll manage. The aperture is de-clicked for all you video shooters. Now when it comes to bokeh, bokeh, it has 13, 13 blades. Damn. Oh, damn. It's quite a bit. It has seven elements and five groups. The maximum aperture, you already know it, is F.95. Holy cannolis. Guys, that's pretty nice. That is basically a 1.4 in full frame. But we're talking about APS-C here, and this is great because in low light, I won't have to shoot at ISO 12,800 or 51,000, like, you know what I mean? So I'm ready. I'm ready for it. The minimum, the minimum, the minimum, the minimum, the minimum aperture is 16, so not too bad. 22 would be great, but you know what? 16 is just fun. It's just fun. The close focus distance is 0.45 meters, which is about 17. 18 inches. That would be 17.72 inches. Not too bad. It's more than a foot, so ooh, not super stoked about that. But it's fine. It's fine. It's not too bad. It could be 0.7 meters. That would be worse. So I think we're good there. The lens also does not have image stabilization, so that's kind of a bummer. But I'm gonna be using it for stills, so does it really matter? Yes, but not not that much. I, I think I'll be okay. I got steady hands. And one thing that I think you know, but just in case you don't, this lens is completely manual focus. So for some people, that might be a deterrence, but I only paid, I think it was 250 for this lens. I'm getting a 75 f1.4 equivalent for 250 bucks. Yeah, I have to manual focus, but the point of me getting the Fuji in the first place was to slow down when taking stills and just enjoy the process. It's gonna ease all the all, all the brain activity and just just I'll just focus on the focusing. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, the thread filter thread size is 62 millimeters. So now that I have read the main specs. Wow, I folded that t terribly wrong. I folded that terribly wrong again. Holy cow, what the? F there we go. Now that all the specs have been read, we can go ahead and open this puppy up. You guys ready? Got foam. I love padding. Moment of truth. Wow. Guys, this lens. Guys, I'm sorry, but 
this lens. Oof. There's nothing more. There's more padding. I'm going to take you around the lens for a little bit. Do, 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 do. Well, first thoughts, this is heavy. Like, I mean, for, okay, it's not heavy, but for this size, this is pretty heavy. Open this up and let's, let's, let's look at the glass. You ready? You ready? I know you're ready. Oh, damn. Holy sh... Look at that element. Ooh. Should we open the back? Should we open the back? Ooh. <laughs> damn! Gosh, that is gorgeous that is i i just that is be a beautiful this is probably going to be a huge dust magnet this element i better bring my little cleaning cloth with me look at that that looks amazing guys hi just gonna shoot the video like this hey guys welcome back <laughs> this element is huge huge build quality this thing is nice um, it feels just, it just, it feels like a good lens. Feels super premium. Yeah, I'm blowing on it. It's just, it's already just attracting all the dust. This has like a gunmetal kind of, kind of look to it. And I know it's just aesthetics, but damn, I love it. It looks really nice. Very pretty. You got your aperture here. From 0 0.95. And we got 1.4. And then all the way to 16. Now, I'm not a fan of the declicked aperture because since I'm going to be using this for stills. Yeah, I'm kind of worried because uh, I'm sure I can... I'm going to be using the focus, right? The focus ring, obviously. And the aperture, it's right, right next to it. Like, it's... It's, like, really close to it. So, if I'm focusing and I accidentally, like grab the aperture then i'm just gonna freaking close it so that won't be like the best thing in the world if it was clicked obviously that would add some resistance to it and if for some reason it had a, it had a lock on it that would be a lot better beggars can't be choosers remember 250 dollars maybe less maybe less can't remember what i got it for maybe less i'll put the price right there not too bad and the focus ring actually feels it's not too loose. It's not super tight. It feels really nice. And it, you know, the hard stops. That, I freaking love that. Hard stops is definitely, definitely the way. The barrel does extend. I'm not the biggest fan of that. So, I'm gonna put the lens the rear cap on, the lens cap. Also the lens cap, it's, it's metal. It's freaking, it's, it's metal. You can hear that, right? Humans for 200 and some bucks, this, ah, oh, worth it, worth it, worth it, worth it. Worth it. Now, I do have my Fujifilm X, a 30 mark ii and i am about to put this lens on it right now it has the 18 millimeter f2 and uh it's light it's balanced the xc30 i ended up getting the grip i know in my last video i was talking about how i wanted this to stay kind of as dark as possible so it's inconspicuous but man it was hard it was it was hard because without this wooden grip right here i was just eh, i would just be having a hard time trying to grip it I have the thumb grip in the back. It's just, and it feels, it feels right. Like it feels like nobody's going to take it from me. Like it's in my hands forever. So I'm kind of stoked. This looks nice. But now let's try it with this pretty decently heavy lens. Got that out. Let's open this up. Let's take this out. Look at that beautiful X trans sensor okay how do i mount okay there we go <laughs> it's like where's the red dot it's right there just so you know the the rear lens cap from the seven artisan lens does fit on the the fuji it's on the camera dude 
Uh, let's take the cap off. Dude, look at that. Oh, that looks so nice. Look at that. I mean, come on. That looks phenomenal. It's, it's just the right size for this camera. And if I took this grip off, it would look maybe cooler. I don't know. If I took this grip off, there's no way I'll be able to hold it. But right now, it's definitely front heavy. It actually stands, which I'm very surprised. Obviously the grip has sturdier base. It's a little wider. This kind of holds. I mean, if I tip it forward, it'll, it'll kind of go. Yep. I like that it's technically balanced. Feels, it feels good. It doesn't feel bad. It's not super heavy and it's not really that big. Obviously it's not X100V thickness right here, but you know, this is a 50 F0.95, like damn. I was just trying to autofocus. I was like, why is this not autofocusing? <laughs> Guys, this is gonna be, this is gonna be different trying to manual focus. It's gonna be uh, pretty difficult if I do say so myself. Okay, I keep, I, I keep using it. I keep using the, the shutter just to, <laughs> okay. I'm at F9, ooh, ooh. This does look nice. How I can smoothly transition. Look at that. Obviously dark, but I like that. That's the aperture ring. Real nice. But let's keep it wide open. That's why I got this lens in the first place. Oh, come on. Okay, so let's get in here. on the EVF wide open it's it doesn't seem very sharp it I'm okay with the manual focusing because of the hard stops okay let's put it this way this lens you don't buy it for sharpness unless you stop down but if you're gonna use the 0.95 f-stop what you want or what you should want out of this lens is is character because that's where you're getting character nothing fancy inside the box just a lens but it's a metal full metal construction metal lens cap uh plastic uh rear cap but that's fine but all in all it feels like a good lens it looks like a good lens very balanced uh here on the xc30 which is i believe it's uh, fuji's like smallest interchangeable lens camera so if i am right then this you know is really good. So if you have anything bigger, like an X-Pro3 or an X-C4, you know, something bigger, I think this will be a lot more balanced. But so far, right here on this camera, it's pretty balanced. Doesn't feel too bad. Doesn't feel super heavy. I'm gonna have the strap, so it'll be, you know, hanging around my neck and, you know, I do have the grip, which is so much nicer. But anyways, I've digressed. First thoughts, great lens. For character great lens for character don't don't be don't be like oh my god i'm gonna buy this lens and and i'm just gonna shoot professionally and and this is i don't think this is for that i think this is for for you to go out and explore and enjoy and just just create content that has some character i know a lot of people want sharpness and no chromatic aberration and all this other shit. But my point of buying a Fuji camera was to slow down, enjoy, and enjoy the process. Enjoy the carry. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, like enjoy the process and like slow down and just, just take it in. 
just just take it in life is so fast and so busy all the time that you know this camera is for me to slow down a bit and this lens will make me slow down so much more because focusing at f 0.95 it's pretty hard thanks for the uh focus speaking is definitely gonna come in clutch anyways those are my first thoughts that was the unboxing i definitely digress it should have just been the unboxing but you know whatever you if, if you hear to see me open the box you can stay a little longer to hear my first thoughts and now you know some of what you need to know if you want to buy this lens obviously i'll be doing a full review uh later i am gonna be taking this lens to nyc the big apple and i'm gonna be using it for 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 nighttime when we're out at night and i cannot i just cannot wait there's so many lights that, anyway i just i just cannot wait to do this and to check it out and to put it through its paces yes i can't wait to do that if you want to know when that review comes out just make sure to like subscribe and hit that bell icon that way when i post something it'll notify you and then if you don't want to watch it you don't have to but at least you know it's there but yeah that is it for today thank you thank you thank you thank you for watching e yeah oh yeah that sounds good